Hi guys, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a maple rum old fashioned. So I have done a couple of these in the past, not on the, uh, on the channel I mean, but uh, I've barrel aged a maple old fashioned before and it's absolutely delicious. Um, I, I think I have done one rum old fashioned. Uh, I've done quite a few variations on old fashions in general. I've got Oaxaca old fashioned, so mezcal, uh, tequila, rum, whiskey. The Wisconsin old fashioned, uh, which is made with brandy. So yeah, make sure you check out that link, check out that playlist and there's uh, a whole bunch of videos up there. Um, and then let me know in the comments below which one your preferred uh, variation is, or if you prefer just a classic old fashioned with rye whiskey or bourbon whiskey. So shout out to William T for using the buy the back bar feature and purchasing the Eldorado Demerara 12 year old rum. Thank you very much. This rum is absolutely delicious. I had a cheeky taste before I turned the camera on and I get a lot of dry fruits, rich molasses, um, but there's not a strong alcohol burn. Uh, it's, it's a really smooth sipper. Hence why I'm using this rum in the rum old fashioned because it's a sipping rum. So, okay, for this one, uh, I'm gonna start with my maple syrup first. Use good quality maple syrup. I don't really have a lot of options here, but this is a Canadian maple syrup. That's the only ingredient in it. I've bought some in the past, which have just been like doctored with simple syrup. So um, just as long as it's pure. And if you're in Canada, then obviously you've got a lot more options than we do here. Uh, measure out 10 mil. Reason I'm measuring out the maple syrup first is then I can wash out the jigger with my rum. And then 60 mil, two ounces. Using my Napier jigger. Also don't forget, uh, today will probably be one of the last days that you have the opportunity to uh, enter the giveaway. I'll leave a link to the giveaway in the description below so that you can win the mixing glass, Napier jigger, and the bar spoon. Uh, that we've got three to, three to give away. Uh, one will be reserved for Patreon people. You can become a Patreon member for $1 and therefore you've got a one in, at the moment, I think it's one in 91 chance of getting it for a dollar. So it's up to you guys. I'll leave a link, all the information in the description below. Now you wanna add two dashes of your aromatic bitters. Today I opted for Fee Brothers. Uh, I feel it's just got a little bit more vibrancy, um, very, very citrusy, uh, quite an intense flavor. It's only 17.5% as opposed to Angostura, which I believe is about 40. Um, but just, uh, I, I just wanted to try a different dimension to my old fashioned. So just fill your mixing glass with ice and then stir it uh, for 40, 45 seconds. So for those who aren't familiar with Demerara rums, it comes from uh, Guyana. I'll leave some information in the description. I've, I was reading an article that was really, really informative, uh, quite fascinating. There was apparently, I think in the 1700s, so around 1750, there was about 300 sugar mills uh, in Guyana, and each one had their own distillery at the, the sugar mill. But I believe now there's only one. So, But it's a really good article, so check it out and have a read. Now add a handful of ice cubes, big cubes, uh, giant ice cube if you've got the time to make that yourself. Throw them into your double old fashioned glass and strain over the top. Of course, if you want, if you're making this at home, you don't have a mixing glass, you can just uh, mix it straight into the, the double old fashioned glass itself. Just down to personal preference. And then garnish with an orange twist. And there you have a maple rum old fashioned. Cheers. The rum smells, smells rich, delicious. If you do like your rums and you don't have a bottle, make sure you get a bottle of this. Even if you just sip on it, have it in old fashions, in cocktails, what have you. That is really, really good. Um, I was, Kind of a little hesitant um, after adding this bitters. I thought the uh, that particular flavour would um, 
overtake the rum a little bit, uh, have too much influence, but it hasn't. It's actually worked very complimentary. Um, this rum is really delicious. I'd even consider serving this straight up in a coupe glass because as it is, it doesn't need extra dilution. It is just perfectly smooth. It is a light, easy to drink rum. Not light on flavor, but um, light on, it just doesn't burn when you drink it. But this is really, really delicious. If you like your old fashions, if you like your rum, get onto this. Check out the link for the giveaway in the description below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video. Cheers. Thanks, William. <laughs>